spring of 2010, the Village of Oak Park commissioned eight artists to paint separate murals on the retaining walls along the Green Line Corridor at Oak Park Avenue and North and South Boulevards. The long-range goal of the program is to display colorful public art along the entire length of the railroad, from Harlem Avenue to Austin Boulevard. Well, it certainly brings uh, color. It brings interesting visuals. This is my first mural, so to do something that's uh, 12 feet by 6 feet is kind of a big deal. The thing that I really liked about the program was the fact that it just actually happened. Um, I like doing public art because so many people get to see it. You know, I do all these art-related jobs, but ultimately painting is the top of the line for me. You know, a variety of people are able to experience it and share it together. And I think uh, over time, as we continue to expand this concept, it'll bring people in to, to look at and enjoy and appreciate the public art. When you get right down to it, it is quite breathtaking. The project began with a call for artists from all over the Chicagoland area, and over 50 responded. The selection process was difficult. It was also really wonderful because we received so many submissions from artists who wanted to be a part of this very first community mural art project. A judging panel selected the final eight based on artistic merit and originality. Are these all one? Yes, they're all one. This is all one art. It's all one art. I was on the selection committee and it was very difficult to choose because uh, all of the presentations were interesting. Yeah, I like them. But uh, the team did a good job. Village manager Tom Barwin was involved in a public art project previously in Michigan and learned the value public art brings to a community. And I think amenities like public art, public sculptures, public fountains all help to create an outstanding sense of place that is something local residents appreciate and value. And what better canvas than these walls? Well, the, the frames in the viaduct are just waiting for something to happen. I have always seen these little squares and thought that that's exactly what should happen to them. I love working on the concrete. It's, I've never done it, and it's, uh, it's kind of cool. If I'm, I'm going to look for a concrete sketchbook if I can find one. Each of the eight selected artists received $500 for materials prior to beginning the project and another $500 upon completion. I was really excited about this design, so it's great to be able to bring it to life and I was really happy that I got to do that. Well, this year's program was funded with $8,000, a portion of which was raised through sponsorships, and uh, we had a team working on this, uh, led by Janice Ackerstrom. There was a real vitality going on here in, on Oak Park Avenue and South Boulevard. The experience of, of watching the artists interact with the community, people would walk by and talk to the artists, and the artists would explain what they're doing. It was very alive and, and very inviting. And even during these times when things are so tough for all of us, to be able to add new public art is really quite uh, extraordinary. With the completion date set to coincide with Oak Park's A Day in Our Village, the artists wasted no time in getting started. It's a wonderful process. It's, a, it's scary, it's wonderful, it's agonizing. It's, there, there are a million emotions that go on with it, but the bottom line is when you're done, it's the coolest thing. Though each had roughly a month to complete their mural, factors beyond their control, namely rain, made some days impossible to work. And when rain wasn't a problem, unseasonably warm temperatures took their place. But the artists took it all in stride. The height is the most challenging. A lot of it's been uh, the uh, logistics of the, uh, the height. I would say the ladder was, um, it was tricky. Mixing the paint and carrying a little cup up there with you so you don't have to go up and down a ladder 12 times, which you end up doing anyway. And we always talk about there's one wrong and that's like one too high, you know? It's like that one is just where the nervous system starts, you know, shutting down on you. Before work was even complete, the response from passerby was overwhelmingly positive. The people have been great. They've been real supportive. Everybody's driving by and giving thumbs up. Actually, I had a guy come up to me and he was noticing all the artists painting and that it was really refreshing thing to see. Here's the icing on the cake. Oh, that's awesome. I love watching the people walk by and just really, you know, they become fascinated, big smile comes on their face. So you know you're affecting. And the artists have been invited uh, by some of the citizens and some of the businesses around here to uh, create some murals for them. So it's really been a profitable uh, experience and also a community building experience that I'm really proud of. Well, I'm hopeful, being the optimist that I am, that eventually we can 
think in terms of over the years, the next 10 years perhaps, getting enough funding and enough artists uh, to uh, participate to go coast to coast from uh, uh, Austin to Harlem, or at least every other panel maybe.